Good morning. Welcome to the peak week vlog. I guess that means I'm actually doing this thing. Good morning. It is Monday morning. It's 5.47. I'm about to go to the gym. I was going to wait until later in the day when I was like ready <laughs> to start this vlog, but I feel like this will give a more accurate depiction of what peak week is like for me because I work eight to five. So I have to start my days really early and this is the real thing. I don't know how people prep for a bodybuilding competition if they actually work in an office like nine to five. I work from home every day except Friday and that has made it way more possible. I don't know how people do this with like an in-person job. Hey, my name's Madeline. If you've never been here before, I've been kind of vlogging my experience training for my first ever bodybuilding competition. Start from the beginning if you want to, if you're curious, but so far this morning I woke up, I took my first check-in video, so I'm supposed to check in with my coach every single day this week, and I'm supposed to send a video when I first wake up fasted, and then one hour after my second meal, which will be like 1 p.m. I did that, I journaled, now I'm about to go to the gym. I've had one cup of coffee, all the workouts are lighter this week because you want to reduce inflammation, hitting everything at like a 70, 80% intensity compared to like last week. And my cardio is gonna go down every day this week. The last two days I had two hours of cardio, which was so tiring. And I know some people have to do that for like weeks. So I'm really glad I didn't because that was a lot. My carbs also go up a little bit every single day. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff to do. I feel a little bit frazzled because this is changing up my routine and I still have lots of things I need to buy for this weekend and prepare. I also got my hair done. It doesn't look good right now, but later you'll see. <laughs> okay, let's go to the gym and start peak week. It is my breakfast time. I'm having the same pancakes that I've been having for a really long time. And I am using Walden Farm syrup. I know some people cut out sugar-free things on peak week, but I asked my coach and she said, as long as it doesn't make me bloat personally, that I don't need to cut it out. So I'm just gonna kind of watch it. It is still Monday, so I have time. Each day, um, depending on my check-ins with my coach, I think my carbs will keep going up. So this already feels like so much nicer than the last two days. So with peak week, a big thing that I'm gonna try to do is just like standardize everything. So you want your meal timings and the types of foods you're eating. You just want everything to be very similar so that your body digestion is super smooth and you're not bloating at all. So I'm gonna try to stick to eating every three hours. So like 8.30, 11.30, 2.30 and 5.30. Yeah, I also removed most of the vegetables from my diet this week, which might sound weird. It's because I was eating a lot of like broccoli and cauliflower and cruciferous vegetables do cause bloating. Just kind of simplifying my diet for this week. Oats, sweet potato, rice, tofu, tofurkey, which is also soy, boca, crumble. The same foods I've been eating, just simpler. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. I'm on my lunch break from work. I just finished walking outside to finish up my cardio and I'm about to put these heels on and do my second check-in video and then send that off to my coach. I'm supposed to do one when I first wake up and then an hour after my second meal. Hello, it is Monday evening. I'm about to prep up another set of pancakes. I'm making rice. I feel like all I do these days is cook, but that will come to an end soon. I did hear back from my coach. She said that everything on my check-ins looked really good. She's really happy with where I'm at. So that's great. Uh, one exciting thing did happen. My suit came in. I'll give you just like a little 
peak of it. She's green. It's a dark green and then with blue beads, so it looks kind of teal. I did try it on and it's crazy. I don't know. Never thought I would do something like this, but it's cool. What is life but one big experiment, right? Okay, I'm being weird. I'm gonna finish cooking this stuff. I just wanted to update you guys. I'm gonna make these pancakes, watch friends, eat dinner. See you guys later. Good morning, it's Tuesday. I'm sitting in my office and I'm gonna do my makeup because I need a little bit of a confidence boost today. I'm feeling not super great. I don't know if it's prep goggles. Heard that's a thing or what, but I did my check-in video this morning and I really wanna approach this with just like a fun attitude. Like I don't expect to win. I don't need to win. I've pretty much done almost all the hard work already. So I don't, I don't know why I'm putting more pressure on myself. I think it's just obviously not a great idea to like critique your body every single day, obviously. That's not like a thing I would do normally. So maybe it's that. Yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit insecure this morning. And I really don't want to because I just wanna enjoy this experience, learn everything I can from it and have a good time. Is that a human problem of always wanting more and bigger and better and not appreciating how far we've already come? Like a year ago, if I told myself I'd be where I am now, I would have, you know, I'd be so proud. So that's what I need to focus on, not this perfectionistic idea. I think we all have very critical voices in our heads. A lot of life is learning to ignore that voice when it's not adding value. Maybe I'm also freaking out about the fact that I'm gonna be on a stage in front of people. It's just, it's that voice. It's like telling me I'm gonna embarrass myself. So yeah, I'm excited to be done, but I don't wanna, I always do that thing where I jump to the next thing and I'm like not embracing the moment. Reminder to myself, reminder to you, not to skip over the present. Right now my present is Feeling a little bit insecure, but reminding myself that I put in a lot of hard work. I just need to enjoy it. Thing there is to know, and of course she does. Just smile and hush. Hi friends, I have been so bad at vlogging so far this week. Honestly, I have just been so much more exhausted than I expected to be. I didn't even go buy all that stuff yesterday that I was supposed to. I'm gonna go tonight, which Jackson will be able to go with me tonight. So I think that'll make it more fun anyway. But by like noon, I've just been dead. Just so tired. Work's been busy. That might be part of it. I also don't know if it's just because when you're pretty lean, like I've just been at a calorie deficit for so long. Like I'm so excited to nourish my body with all the food that I want. I'm feeling a lot better today. Got a really good night's sleep last night. I already went to the gym. I did a quick shoulder workout and walked for 40 minutes and I'm done with that. So that's really nice. I don't have to like finish that up. Um, my weight was up a little bit this morning. We are increasing carbs every day by like 10 grams and I think your weight's supposed to go up. I know you're supposed to, it's supposed to fill out your muscles so you don't look depleted on stage. Hopefully that's fine. I don't know, I'm just trying not to worry about like expectations or an end result and just go with the flow and enjoy the process. We are now three days out. Tonight I'm gonna go buy the long list of stuff that I need for show day weekend. I think once I get through work today, I'll start feeling more excited because I know work on Thursdays isn't usually stressful. Then I can like really start to focus on this weekend. I'll try to show you more of like my meals today and shopping tonight. Okay, let's continue on with peak week. Three days to go. Okay, so I am just cooking up a whole bunch of protein, basically. This tofurkey chicken stuff is so good. I'm gonna use that for my dinner tonight and probably tomorrow. And then I have a bunch more boca for lunches and whatnot. But I'm gonna make dinner real quick and then we're gonna go run our errands and buy the stuff I need for the shop.
Well, it finally happened. Peak week. The week that she's been waiting for. Uh, she's been... going to say the week that she peaks. <laughs> the week that she peaks. It's all downhill from here. She's been working hard all year and it's... The... <laughs> Someone just honked at me. I wasn't going to hit him. <laughs> Okay, actually, this is very hard to back out while you... And we're headed to some stores. I think we're going to go to Target, Sprouts, and a TJ Maxx. Out of those three, what's your favorite store? Oh, that's hard. Those are like your top stores. Like It's like White Girl Central. It's like the trifecta. I need to get sheets for the Airbnb so my spray tan doesn't ruin them. I need to get a towel so my spray tan doesn't ruin it. I need to get a can of Pam, apparently, to spray myself with. It's on the instructions for the show, which seems bizarre, but okay. Um, Are you gonna get olive oil? <laughs> I was gonna get coconut oil. I feel like that's more on brand for me. <laughs> There's so much other stuff. This is not Well, some content. snacks. I'm gonna get, yeah, something that I wanna eat post-show. I'm not gonna go crazy with that because I think we're gonna go out to eat, but I wanna get at least a couple things. And yeah, I'll show you what all I get in a bit. Hello, my friends. It is Thursday evening. I have just logged off of work and I'm off work Friday because it's the day I have to go to the show. It's time. It's here. I, this week has been so crazy emotionally and I did not expect that. I really thought I would just get more and more excited. I'd be getting more and more food. Training gets easier. So I thought it would just be this like, Heck yeah, let's go crush it kind of thing. And it is not. I've been like up and down so much. I was literally crying to Jackson last night about how I wanted to just not do this at all and how I felt ridiculous and silly. And when I was walking on the treadmill this morning, I was listening to Optimal Living Daily. They read out a little blog post. And the one for today was about fear and facing fear and how in order to live with courage, you have to have fear. Like you can't have one without the other. That like in order to grow, you have to feel uncomfortable and push through that. And then that decision to keep pushing through it is what builds your courage. It's what causes you to grow. It was very fitting. I did feel inspired. <laughs> it's not 100% just being up on stage and like, what if I fail? Like that is part of it. I hate failing or putting myself out there but I've gotten a lot better, hence my YouTube channel. But that's part of it. But then I find that whenever there are things in my personal life that I don't share on the internet, when things are hard there, it really affects everything else and it makes me wanna hide. And this weekend is as opposite of hiding as possible. I think those feelings were butting heads. At this point, I just need to like black out and do the damn thing, you know? Yes, it is. Thursday evening, I'm going to pack as much as I can tonight. Tomorrow I have off work, so tomorrow morning I have like a little workout to do. And then I think I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm gonna prep the food. And then we're gonna go to Tulsa where the show is. Yeah, and then the athlete check-in is tomorrow evening. My spray tan's tomorrow evening. Everything starts tomorrow evening. Tonight, I need to pack. Oh, I feel awkward. Hey, what are you doing? I'm about to start packing. <laughs> I am dressed like I'm freezing because I am freezing. We went to Target yesterday for some of these weird things that you have to buy for bodybuilding competitions that you might not think about. One thing, got some loose dark pants for after the tan. These are actually in the men's section and I'm so glad we got men's pants because they have pockets. I also got some towels so we don't ruin the ones at the Airbnb and a little sheet set same thing that tan will rub off on everything so got some cheap sheets um i got these cups to pee in because once you tan you know if you pee in the toilet it might splash on you or something like that i don't know i'm just doing what i'm told got some cups i realize these are like a protein cookie but these are going to be my after show treat like my first thing before we go eat somewhere i love these they're so good. It also said in the instructions to bring a can of Pam to spray yourself with, which seems bizarre, but I'm doing it. Hairspray, pretty standard. I just don't actually have any. So I got some hairspray. I'm gonna do my own hair. I'm getting my makeup done, but I'm gonna do my own hair. Um, I got some baking soda. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to shower and use baking soda and a non-moisturizing soap that's supposed to be really good exfoliant to help with the spray tan. And lastly, pickles. 
My coach told me to bring pickles. I think it's supposed to help you with your pump. I still have a few other things I need to buy tomorrow. Like I'm gonna get some makeup wipes. I have most everything. So I'm gonna pack what I can today and then finish packing tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited you guys. It is one day out. It is like officially competition weekend. And at this point I have worked out all my emotional problems. <laughs> well, uh, for this week anyway. And I'm just excited and I'm just gonna freaking enjoy this because I have worked really, really hard for a long time now. I mean, I know I put that on myself, but I am proud of myself. So it's just gonna be a fun weekend celebrating that and celebrating my friends and my family and yes. I'm on my way to the gym for my last workout before the show. It's gonna be glutes and then a light upper body, 15 minutes of cardio. And I brought my heels so I might even practice walking and posing at the gym, which I have not done. Have not done at all yet, but I have time this morning because I took off work. My weight this morning was 107.2, so pretty steady yesterday. I think it was 107. I have lots of little things to finish up this morning before we go to Tulsa, but I'm excited. Uh, I think that's all I had to say. So far, I will check in with you guys, hopefully sometime with better lighting. Hey guys, it's been a little while. It's almost 11 a.m. now. Finished up at the gym. So that was my last gym session of prep. Since then, I finished prepping up my food for the weekend. So I have five meals packed up, ready to go for Saturday, tomorrow. Took a long shower, shaved everything, exfoliated everything, hoping that I did a good enough job for this spray tan, but it's my first spray tan ever. So I don't even know what to expect. Still need to finish packing, so I'm doing that right now. My friend Danny's on her way over here, and then we're gonna go get our nails done. And then I need to make a quick target run for a few more things. And then once I'm finished packing, I'll be ready to go. Ah, I'm excited. I keep getting text messages from people saying good luck and that they're so proud of me, and it feels really real now. We're on our way. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I'm eating a snack in the car. Ooh. I almost spilled that on my light colored jeans. Oh, you would have been mad. A little frazzled. I was frazzled, but that's okay. We're en route. I think we have all the things I need. Woo! <laughs> and it's, it's just gonna all go from Woo! here. Woo! I'm gonna be tan in five hours. Heck yeah. Any other updates I need to give? They tickled you when you I got, a, I got a pedicure and it did tickle. Yes. Oh, and I might be green because he definitely put lotion on me before I realized it. So I'm gonna try to scrub it off later, but that be might turn my spray tan green. Or just cut the lines off. Just don't tan the legs. Yeah, we have lots of solutions. Okay, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> yep, okay. Um, we'll check in later. Bye. We made it. made it. We're gonna do a cute little Airbnb tour. Living room. This is very nicely decorated. Kitchen. Whoa, it goes through. <laughs> it's one of those places where there's so many doors. Okay, and then we'll just tuck it in like on this side. Yeah, for tomorrow. Oh. I can ask her when she's in here. Which this is a very small blanket, so I'm gonna also use like other blankets, but. It is 
5.34, I'm gonna go to the athlete check-in soon, but I'm gonna eat my dinner first. I have them, all my meals in here. Dinner today. You can't tell in this bathroom that it's tan. Oh, well that doesn't work either. Base layer tan. I'm in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> okay, friends, that's gonna end the Peak Week vlog because next is show day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for the show day vlog. See you next time.